The Department of Justice found Phoenix police not only kill too many people, officers also repeatedly use unjustified non-lethal force and they use it without warning and when no force is necessary. From tackles, takedowns and hog tying people to pepper balls, tasers and canines. I'm ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscobing and this is another story in our special series, breaking down the DOJ's historic report and turning it into video. To follow along, scan the QR code to pull up an official copy of the DOJ's findings. In this story, we're focusing on the issues about non-lethal force on pages 25 through 28. These are body camera videos from cases found in a section of the DOJ report titled Phoenix PD uses unreasonable force immediately without giving people warning or an opportunity to comply. Hey, how you doing there, partner? And this is the first example. Stop! Quote, officers approached a man in a parking lot after he was seen in a stolen car. Get down now! Get down on the ground, man! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! Get down on the ground! The man had his hands up, but less than two seconds after yelling at him to lie down, an officer grabbed him by his hair with one hand while pointing a gun at him with his other hand. The officer threw the man to the ground and wrapped his arm around the man's neck, while three other officers pulled the man's legs and hands in different directions. Put your arm behind your back. I'm trying, man. Put your arm behind your back, one commanded. The man responded, I'm trying. Left arm, guys, left arm. Ah! Oh, what the f you guys doing, man? Ow, 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 ow. Dude, just relax. Bro, I didn't even do nothing, man. You just came and started beating me up. Nobody's beating you up. You were just choking me right now. I had my hand on the partner. In this case, the DOJ wrote, an officer rushed into an apartment without announcing his presence, lifted a woman from behind, and pulled her outside. The officer then kicked her legs out from under her and slammed her face first into the sidewalk, splitting her chin on the concrete. The woman was bleeding on the ground less than 40 seconds after the officers got out of the car. You bust my chin. All right. I need to know your badge number. Don't worry. Do no. From review of the body-worn camera footage, it's unclear the woman even knew it was a police officer who grabbed her. In this one, the report says, an officer tackled a man without warning for allegedly shoplifting $38 worth of food from a grocery store. He grabbed her stuff and she, she ripped it out of her hands and turned around and took off running. As the officers pulled up, one yelled stop out the window. Hey, stop! 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 The man continued to walk, seemingly unaware that the officer was yelling at him. Seconds later, both officers jumped out of the car, ran at the man, and pushed him to the ground. What are you doing? What are you doing? Later, one officer bragged to the other. You like that impact push up? Sick. What? Impact push up. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. In the three incidents you just watched, records show Phoenix PD found all of them within policy. Now, in this section of the report, the DOJ also found that Phoenix officers shoot pepper ball and gas canisters in the same way without warning, without being necessary. Here's an example cited by the DOJ. Hands now, hands! Now, now! Hands! Get on the ground! Hands! Hands! Hey. In the air! Stop showing his hands. Get down! Now. Quote, in one incident, a group of officers shot 40 millimeter foam rounds, a taser, and over 20 pepper balls at an unarmed man within 20 seconds of announcing their presence. Ah. The officers plan to take the man into custody for two open felony warrants related to probation violations. The DOJ also highlighted this. Officers told us that quickly using more, less lethal projectiles would reduce the need for lethal force. Phoenix PD not only instructed officers to be proactive with projectiles, it took the weapons away from officers who did not use them enough. So basically, use it or lose it. Now in this series, we're also doing other stories on other issues with non-lethal force, including tasers, canines, and hog tying restraints. To see everything we're doing, go to abc15.com slash DOJ. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona.